Shalom, beloved. A word. There are some things I've been in the debate to talk about, but Yahuwah put it on my spirit. It's still on my spirit. And I believe I need to talk about it. I believe I need to talk about it because I think it will help somebody else. I'm looking at Proverbs 14.30. I'm looking at the last part. And the way I learned the best, jealousy is rotten to the bone, to the bone. Now, this says a sound heart is the life of the flesh, but envy the rottenness of the bones. Jealousy is rotten to the bone, to the bone it is rotten. And to give you an understanding, like I told you before, we are made in the image of Yahuwah. We are spiritual, mental, and physical beings. If you look at rotten meat, and I know these pictures are very challenging to look at. If you can imagine consuming rotten meat, you know, first of all, if you're lucky when you take that first bite and swallow, if you're lucky, you'll just get wretchedly sick. If you're not lucky, not only can it make you sick, if you consume too much of it, it can kill you. Jealousy is rotten. You have to, the reason these words are used is to give you the image just like rotten meat being consumed can make you sick. Rotten spirits, rotten people, if they are consumed in your presence, in your company, their words, their behaviors, their attitudes, the, the negative vibrations, the negative intentions that they have can make you sick. If they get close enough, long enough, they can bring about your destruction, beloved. They can destroy your or attempt to destroy your reputation. They definitely will run up on your peace of mind. They will try to cause you to lose every good thing you have. They will cause you to break up with loved ones because if they can, they'll make your husband think you're a cheating wife or your the wife think the husband's a cheating man. It's rotten. It has no good in it. It's rotten. Jealousy is the same thing. When somebody is jealous of you and you are consuming that spirit being around you, uh, their words, their undermining intentions, there are things when we talk about some people, they just make me sick. I can't stand them. They make me sick. Like if you were consuming rotten meat, it will make you sick. The scent of it, the, the presence of it, the sight of it can make you sick. The smell of it, something rotten has a stench. A rotten person, their spirit has a stench that will come off of it near you. It's a stench. I left this picture momentarily and I'm going to remove it now so that you can get the understanding of what I mean about rottenness. When you are a child of the light and a child of darkness is around you, that stench, that rottenness, that no good intent, it has no value for you. It is of no use to you. Even if you put it in the ground, you can't, even plant anything on it quickly because it will literally burn the roots of whatever tries to grow until it is neutralized. Until it is neutralized, you can't even put it in the ground quickly and use it for fertilizer. It's got to go through some seasons in the ground before you can even plant something over there. Everything will die. It's rotten. The darkness and the light, beloved. Many of us, myself included, which is why I am making this video, 
we get people around us, they pretend like their father to be angels of light. They, they come to the chosen and they try to extinguish your light. They try to eclipse your light. And at first, they will give off the guys like their father of lies. They, they will transform into an angel of light, but something about them is not right because they have jealousy. It's rotten inside them. The stench comes off. When they don't know that you're looking, you catch them and their faces are twisted. When they speak about you, it is always in a negating, disdaining manner. When they speak to you, it's disrespectful. It's always something that tries to put you in a negative feeling or a negative mood. It's right. Now, we have family members. We have family members that it doesn't matter. Forgive me, this fly about to drive me crazy. I got them. Um, that they, 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 they might be my color, but they're not my kind. They might be your color, but they're not your kind. No, mm -mm, mm -mm. And to give you an understanding of what I mean, David and Saul, they were all from the house of Yasharet. Saul being from one group, David from another. If I got it right, Saul was under Kish, Kish and under the Benjamites and David from the tribe of Judah. But Saul had no goodness in his heart for David. He was so blinded by his jealousy of David that when David was trying to ease Saul, Saul tried to throw a spear at him and pin him to the wall. He chased him over and over and over again, intent to take his very life. Jealousy is rotten to the core. If you ate rotten meat, if I put it, I, you can put rotten meat in the house and the stench is so great. What in the world? I get that thing away from me. People with the spirit of jealousy bringing that darkness are the same way. Now, I was watching a live talk from Minister Yacoba today, which actually encouraged me to do this video. I'm still debating whether I'm going to publish it. And one of the things I saw right underneath his uh, moniker was he teacheth my hands to war. So that, and this is all he said was he teacheth my hands to war. And I thought that was very interesting. Because yesterday I talked about the Ruach Kavura, the spirit of might. I was talking about how the spirit of might was still with Moses. His strength did not abate, although he was high up in years. Okay, his eyes had not grown dim. The Ruach Gavura, the spirit of might. Well, I had a cookout and I had somebody here. And this person, that stench of jealousy. And I kept looking, I'm trying to keep things calm, but the stench of jealousy was all over them. As a matter of fact, I want to go to something in Ecclesiasticus just to bring it home for you. Okay, if I can get my image shrunk. Ecclesiasticus, some, sometimes you'll find it in the book of Sirach. 3319, Ecclesiasticus. It's also in the book of Sirach. Give not thy son and wife, thy brother and friend, power over thee whilst thy live, and give not thy goods to another, lest it repent thee and thou entreat for the same again. I've read it in many other different books. Don't give anybody power over you in your home. Don't give power over your home to another. It will, you will repent of it. It will grieve you. And the other one that I read, not sister, brother, father, mother, daughter, son, no one. Long as thou livest. Well, I had this cookout and one of these jealous bloodline family members came. And I felt that jealousy. And it's rotten. Remember the meat. 
just like David had love for Saul, this particular person I had love for too. But it just kept going and going and going and going. And I'm thinking, wow, I haven't even had a cookout in my house in Yon's. I'm so glad y'all told me I, I wanted to invite certain people from my job. I didn't. Something kept pressing me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Well, we're there. And this spirit's coming out of them. So finally, I walk into the garage. And I'm saying something to them because they, they keep perpetrating these lies. And they want me to go along with these lies. And, and I've told them one-on-one, -on -one, I'm not going with these lies. And as long as you don't bring it around me, I'm cool. But now to make their point go home, they came to my cookout and start forwarding these lies. And I'm like, I told you, I told you, I'm not supporting them. I'm not going to be behind them. I'm not a part of it. And they were pushing them anyway. So then when it got too strong, I told the truth. I'm in my house. I told you one-on-one, -on -one, don't bring it. But you're bringing it so and then you're trying to include me in it. No, I'm in my house. Well, when I announced the fact that it was a lie, this person tried with all their might out of nowhere to literally sucker punch me, to literally sucker punch me. And <clears throat> this Psalm, Psalm 18, 34, 36, is David, David, who's in the midst of being uh, pursued with intent to kill, harm him. This is David talking. He teacheth my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arm. Now, when this person tried to sucker punch me at my age, it's unbelievable, but this is how ugly the jealousy is out of nowhere. I'm like, whoa, the spirit, the uh, first, I went like the matrix. I'm weaving it, blocked it. And then the Ruach Gavura came upon me. The Ruach Gavura. I love that minister Yacoba had it up. He teaches my hands to war. I am telling you. Darkness and light do not belong together. There was nowhere else to go. And I'm at my home. I will not give my power to another, to a woman who came, who you do. If you feel how you feel, you should be careful. You just go your way. But that wasn't what was going to happen. And at that moment, Yahuwah, see, he is, he is not only a Yah of peace and love. He is also a Yah of wrath and war. Don't get it twisted. Okay. And he taught my hands to war. As it's happening, as I am defending myself, and it is going very well, I'm upset that the audacity of this person in the middle of my cookout, you figured you're going to knock all crap out of me. I, what should I do? My neighbors, everything. So like you have lost all sense of reality in your jealousy. But not a blow landed from them to me. My blows landed to the point. It staggered them. And when they left, the disgrace they tried to give me, they left with. Darkness and light do not belong together. You know, uh, in the book of Peter, he said, don't be surprised at this fiery trial. You know, I have not had a physical altercation since I was like 20 years old. Um, I do not like physical altercations. I do not. I'm trying to tell you something. He teacheth my hands to war, and he is a very good teacher. Beloved, you have people out here that will undermine you, usurp you. You are not crazy, and no, you are not supposed to sit there or, or be verbally demolished. 
You try to walk away, you try to hold your peace, you try to let it go, and they're pushing, 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 pushing until you finally push back. See, I feel like the Shul HaMashiach. You can't come in my father's house and disrespect his house. Well, you can't come in his daughter's house and disrespect her house. If I came to your house and we didn't agree and you asked me to leave, I would just leave. Doesn't mean who won, who lo- I would just leave. It, it, it's a given. But you have some people that darkness wants to put your light out. That darkness, I'm walking around, everybody's having a nice time. We're laughing, we're joking. Some of us having very deep conversation. It was beautiful. I mean, it was beautiful. And this particular individual started telling this lie that they want to perform so bad. Oof. And it's like, why would you come to my house with this? And I'm not a liar and I don't support that. And I'm not going into what the lie was. It's just, I already told you, you, please, but no, you bring it here. And I'm going to extinguish that because you're going to try to make me participate in something evil that I have nothing to do with because you want to put out my light. They already have jealousy, beloved. We will have trials and tribulations and persecutions. And I'm just telling you, the Ruach Gavora, the spirit of might is real. It is not words sitting on a piece of paper. Okay, that look good. I love the spirit of might. No, the spirit of might will help you. Okay, shockingly help you. Okay, he teaches my hands to war. There is not one lie. Those words are so true and so powerful. We are in the last days. As a matter of fact, when this situation happens the way it happens, he's going to use Yahshua to break down those other nations. Okay. But I am telling you, you got people that are dark. They seek you out to try to douse your light. They do it through underhanded statements. They do it through getting loud. They do it through disrespectful words. They do it through gathering around you like this is accidental. It's not accidental. And when nothing else is rocking you, some of them will try to get physical. The Ruach of Aura, the Ruach Exa, Spirit of Counsel, Mm-mm, this is your house. Your house. That woman had the power to either not come here or leave. And when that woman leaves, she still knows that's your house. And you had the right to dominion in your house. Sometimes it's your physical house. Sometimes it's the body. And in my case, it was both. She cannot come here and disrespect you to the utmost in your house and then turn around and disrespect your personal house. That's tent that the most High gave you. I never thought of putting my hands on anybody. I don't like it. It, it, I do not like violence, but Yahuwah HaMashiach, the Lord of Sabaoth. When he said, touch not mine anointed, listen, listen. If they're around you and they got darkness, you need to get away from them. I, I don't care their family because a lot of times it's, it's family, so-called friends, people that they, they figure they can get in your orbit. Okay, he teaches my hands to war. Yes, he does. I'm a living testimony. Every, every, every punch I threw landed. Everyone they didn't, didn't. Everyone they did, didn't. And no, I'm not into that. But I'm telling you, you've got situations out here where these people are so jealous. It's rotten. They will do things that you like. I don't even understand what in the world is going on. They're jealous because of your clothes. They're jealous because of your friends. They're jealous because you're happy. They're jealous because that which they rejected, you took and made something of it. That which 
they would not do. Saul wouldn't even go out there and go near Goliath. David went at him, okay? And Saul got jealous. But Saul had the ability to go long before David came. David's heart was pure towards Yahoo. And you get these people. They're looking at you. They want what you have. And if they can't get what you have, they want to make sure at least you don't have it. I'm telling you because I got them in my family. Either they want to take it from you. They want to compete. They want to run out in front of you and say that all manner of evil against you. She don't know the Lord. She's a liar. She, I don't even think she read the Bible. It's just insane. It's like, what is going on? And here's the thing to finish. You know, there's a statement and I thought of it. What in the world possessed you to try to sucker punch me? Well, the statement alone tells a story. What possessed you? Hmm. It would have to be some demon. Their demons get rattled by the spirit of, of the Lord on you. You run around happy, easygoing, hospitable. I mean, I got a house full of people. I'm standing in the garage and I mean, they tried with everything in them. And it was like the matrix, whoa, poof. And then I came back and didn't stop coming back until they was down there. And it's like, what, and what, what, what? So don't be surprised, beloved. And when he says, he maketh my hands to war. It's the truth when it's necessary. When you're going through all these strange things, people jealous. I mean, you got good people that come up to you do. But competing, lying, manipulating, arguing to the point it's just it drain you just listening to them like this is too much. And ill intent, it's rotten, just like that me. And if you know it's near, you get away from it. If you know it's near you, I don't care if it's family, co-worker, do only what you got to do around it and then clear the room. You would clear it anyway if it was rotten meat. If something died and you're like, this funky up in here, I'm not staying up in this room. Open the windows, do something. Cover that thing up, okay? Darkness wants to shade the light, but the light will not be extinguished, particularly when... You're running with Yahuwah. And the irony is you have good feelings towards these people. You don't want evil for them. But they are on a whole nother train. They, 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 I want to make my name bigger than yours. I want to squish you. I want to trip you up. I never said I know everything. But to try to harm me and think I'm just going to stand idly by is insane. He maketh my hands to walk, be it my spiritual hands, my verbal hands, my mental hands, or my physical hands, whatever. And I'm telling you, beloved, you are not alone. A lot of times I walk by myself because you get jealousy. There's this rottenness coming out of people. And because you're comfortable, because you're honest, I'm not talking about brutally honest where you're trying to make a person feel small. You're just being honest and they don't like it. They don't like the fact you have knowledge. They don't like the fact that you've got a home or a husband or your children are fine. And this person did try to do it in front of my child, my my young, my two young. It's, it's just insane. Like, you, you got to be kidding me. But they weren't. So I say all that, beloved, jealousy is rotten to the core. And to finish, one of my family members that was there asked me a couple of days later, how you feel? I'm fine. My heart's at peace. If thy heart does not condemn thee, my heart did not condemn me. I don't feel bad, but I wish it had never happened. But in this life, we will have tribulation. You are not alone. And at my age, I know that was the spirit of Mike. I know it beyond a shadow of a doubt. Touch not. Yahoo is anointed. And when you try to touch them, he will come in and take over and do something that will shock everybody.
even you. Beloved, you're not alone. It's a word that, again, if you see this, I shared it. If you don't, I, it doesn't matter. But I think somebody needs to know. You're not alone. It's a word, beloved. Giving all honor, all glory, all power unto our most high father. He did not make us a stepping stone for somebody to walk on. No, he didn't. He made me the head and not the tail. He made us above and not beneath. Okay. That's who he made us. A lot of people got it twisted. They got it twisted. Okay. He made us above and not beneath. The head and not the tail. The lender and not the borrower. The leader and not the follower. And this is true. But we lead in the love of the truth and the love of the word. But he also, he also, so you don't get it twisted. Wait a minute, I got to find it. He teacheth my hands to war. And that's saying a lot. Especially for where I'm at in my life. It's a word, beloved. Shalom.